In the following animation, we are depicting a three-pump multi-phase system with each pump rated for 50% total capacity. In this configuration, normally two pumps are operated in parallel, with a third installed as a standby for emergencies or standard preventative maintenance protocol. Multi-phase systems can be operated either manually or automatically. For this animation, we are using an automated configuration. A multi-phase pump system is comprised of the inlet header that is specially designed to provide equal distribution of flow to each of the multi-phase pumps. The system also includes the outlet piping, instrumentation, balance or equalizing line that interconnect the pumps to assure liquid filling of each before startup, the pumps and motors that form the heart of the system, relief valves and safety lines that are vented to the customer's recovery system, system bypass valve, and finally, strainers between the inlet manifold and pumps to prevent nuts, bolts, and other debris from entering the system. When starting the system, the strainer valves are opened automatically to allow the multi-phase flow stream into the system. With liquid already present in pump 1, the inlet and outlet valves on the pump open and the motor energizes, thus allowing the total flow of gas, oil, and water to be transported through the pump and discharge piping and directed to the discharge manifold. Once both flow and drawdown pressure in pump 1 are established and stabilized, the system may automatically determine that pump 2 needs to be placed into operation. Upon acknowledging this need, the valves in the equalization line between the two pumps open to assure that pump 2 has adequate liquid present. A liquid level transmitter within the pump will signal that there is sufficient liquid present. Subsequently, the inlet and outlet valves to the pump are opened and pump 2 is energized, placing both pumps 1 and 2 into parallel operation. This increases the overall flow capacity and draws the wellhead pressure down to the preset level. When it is time to perform maintenance on one of the two operating pumps in accordance to protocol, the valves in the equalization line for pump 3 are opened until a sufficient liquid volume is present. Once the liquid level transmitter in pump 3 sends a signal to the PLC, the inlet and outlet valves for pump 3 are opened and the pump is energized, placing all three pumps into parallel operation. Temporarily, all three pumps will operate at a reduced speed since speed control is a function of the set drawdown pressure programmed into the PLC. Once the system is stable, pump 1 can shut down automatically and the inlet and outlet valves to pump 1 will be closed, leaving pump 2 and 3 operating and maintaining flow and pressure. One additional feature of Colfax multi-phase systems is that we incorporate dual inlet strainers. In order to provide continuous uninterrupted service, we recommend installing two strainers on all multiple pump systems with one serving as the primary and the other as the secondary strainer. The strainers are fit with differential pressure transmitters. When the differential pressure in the operating strainer reaches a preset point, an alarm signal is issued indicating that it is time to switch filters. Once authorization to switch filters is given by the operator, the valves of the secondary strainer are opened, and when full flow through the secondary strainer is established, the valves for the primary strainer are closed, thus allowing it to be blocked in and serviced.